this is how you can make a music video completely out of VJ loops. Uh, the program I'm working in is Final Cut, but this will work with any video editor where you can drag and drop files and export. So the first thing is I'm going to go into my footage library here. And all these VJ loops, by the way, are uh, available from the links in the description box. But first thing I'll do is just select a loop, drag and drop it into my timeline over here. And you'll see that it's right here. Uh, it's about two seconds long, this particular file. And it just stops playing. Um, and like Resolume or After Effects, you can make the loops just loop automatically. I don't know how to do that on Final Cut. So what I do is just copy, uh, which is control C, and then I'll paste it, which is the shortcut for that is uh, command V. So I'll just do this a few times down here. And you'll see already this entire loop will last for 35 seconds. I don't really want like all of these dozens of clips down here in case I need to edit it. So I'll, the next thing I'll do is just select them all. I'm gonna make them one clip. So I'll, I'll push control and click new compound clip. And it doesn't really matter what you name it. So now as you can see this orb is just one big clip and I can just move it around wherever I want to. Like if I wanted a background, I just go into my footage libraries here and this is a background I made in Resolume, a background animation. Drag and drop it into here and I'm going to put it underneath this loop. See this uh, orb is a ProRes 444 file which has a transparent background or alpha channel so anything that happens underneath it will automatically show up. Down here this is my song if you push V that'll turn on or turn off whatever clip so if I pushed V down there now you don't hear any audio and if I wanted to make this one invisible I'd push V so it just makes things visible or invisible in case you need to do that when you're editing. This is just how you make layers. It's very easy. You just stack it. It's just like music. If you make music with tracks, they're just stacked on top of each other. So if I want to get some motion into this orb, um, I, I can do some keyframe movements. So over here where the transform area is, I can make a key just by clicking these. And I'm actually going to come back over here and click show video animation. Where now I can see down here, this little dot here, that's my key frame. So I'm going to move all the way to the end of the clip. Actually, first I'm going to shorten this clip down to about 10 seconds. So I just want this particular scene to last that long. Click here, come back over to the transform and click on the position and scale key. Now we can start playing around with the animation that will happen. So I'm just making the scale smaller. The orb is slowly zooming away. And if you wanted to add some more motion in the middle, then you can just make another keyframe. And for the movement, like to move it around the position, I'll come over here to the bottom left of the screen right here, click transform. Now I can actually just grab this circle and drag the ball around wherever I want it to go. All right. So now I'm actually going to end the clip right here because it kind of syncs up to where I want it to um, transition to the next shot of this music video. Um, in addition to just grabbing it and shrinking or growing a clip, you can also push B 
on your keyboard and you'll get this splicer where you can splice things and then you have a separate clip that you can move around or just delete. And go back to my footage and I'm going to add uh, some things that are going to be flying into the screen automatically flowing into the screen so that camera motion we just did there on this orb has already been applied to all of these animations. Um, another helpful thing that I use often when editing videos like this is the color wheel. So say we want to change some colors, just come down to the video effects and type in color and grab an effect, click it and just drag it over to the clip you want to apply it to. And now come up to the top right and you have your color wheels. This is where you can change the shadows or the highlights. Um, for now I'm just going to come down here to the hue and just rotate this around and you can see that the hue has changed. So that's kind of cool. I like the blue. Kind of like cotton candy. So yeah, if you're not you don't have to just stick with whatever color the footage is. Um, when you're combining clips especially, you might have colors that don't automatically work out of the box. So you you can play around and find complementary colors or just experiment. It's really a matter of playing to taste. It's very subjective, this whole mixing and mashing with things. If this was a finished scene, just ended there. Um, I could also do something where I wanted to fade. Like if I wanted to fade into a new scene, I'm just gonna combine these into a new compound clip to make this quicker to show fading. But I just click on this, click control, and go to show video animation. And now you can see compositing opacity. So double click that. And these little knobs here, you can pull and it'll show you how many seconds the fade would last. So say this was like the end of the music video and I wanted to fade it out, then it would just fade to black or whatever thing I have underneath it. But if I wanted to fade to a new clip, then I'd find another scene to add into here and you put it underneath it and make sure that that where the fade starts you have video footage underneath it otherwise if you just started it halfway through then the video will just pop in and it'll look kind of weird like this I guess that looks okay but it you know if, if you want it to be a smooth transition and start it at the fade. Yeah, making music videos, like I said, it's very subjective up to taste, but uh, some things to keep in mind are cutting to the sound of the music. So you can come down to the timeline and you can see where the, some spikes are in the song. like normally drum beats or the start of a new beat and just line up the clip to to the start of the new beat. One, one thing to keep in mind is that when you're lining up something to a beat you don't want you normally don't want the image to come after the main beat. So here's an example. Oh that's a that's not even animated is it? So that snare beat, if I wanted it to come onto the snare, see I have it happen just a little bit before the snare. But you're, cause like, if you see a lightning storm, you see the lightning before you hear the thunder. But if I had the animation coming after the beat, it would look like this. 
see that? Boom. It feels a little off. It feels like something is lagging. So either line it up on the beat or just a little bit before, but almost never after. Yeah, that's the very basics of how to make a music video using VJ loops. Of course, if you have live footage, like you filmed uh, a hip hop artist dancing around doing things, then obviously it's the same concept where you'd have the live footage down here. You just layer the transparent VJ loops over it and use the camera tool and apply effects to make it mesh with the live footage. So really the possibilities are endless. You can make endless creations out of these building blocks. These are just ingredients. It's how you choose to to uh, stir it around and make something unique out of it.